What's going on YouTube? This is a small quick little video on, on Buck and Son Game Files. Today is it's just not a winter health care, it's just a care period. And I got laid out our process of what we was doing. I used this first on my chickens um, because some of them had a little cold, but you know, my main method is the first thing I always like to do is deworm. Then after I finish giving them deworming, I wake about maybe two days later. I hit them with some uh, antibiotics, which is this amoxicil, this premoxil powder. Then after that, once you flush their system with that antibiotics, you got to put those vitamins and minerals back into their body. I use this. I give them that for about three days. And then after three days, uh, well, I give, I give that to them for a full day and a half to two days. Then after that, all, all these get a break with fresh water. After I give them this, Two days of fresh water. Well, with when I deworm, I give them this for a day. Then, then, then after they drink it for about a, two days, I give them fresh water. Once I give them the fresh water, I immediately give them this. And then after that, I wait about two to three days. Then I give them vitamins and minerals with electrolytes. Then after I give them that, well, which that's what's in their water right now, is that uh, this vitamin and mineral. Tomorrow, all these bowls will be dumped out and washed out. And uh, they'll get fresh water for about maybe a day and a half, maybe two days. Then we'll hit them with that Vet RX. Guys, like I say, if you don't have this Vet RX, all of this it plays a real big key. But if you don't have this, uh, I said it in another video, you might as well throw your vitamin kit away or your uh, health kit away. All of them play a big key. Don't get it wrong. All of them play a big key. But that Vet RX is, is is the true. And then, you know, I got other stuff, blue coat, you know, for cuts and stuff like that if they get cut. All of these are what I use. Now, like I said, I use three different type of warmers. I use a cattle porn, which is uh, ivermectin. Uh, I'll show you in one of my videos how I administer that. Uh... I got that from one of the guys on our video and I'll, I'll pull up their name and I'll tell you who they are. I watched their video on how they administered it and I watched it and I liked it and it works great the way they did it. But uh, as you can see, I got very healthy chickens and the favorite time of my year is here too. Uh, it's January the 31st, 2024, and we already got eggs, fellas. We're going to have babies come next month. Look how red their face is. Uh, healthy chickens. Uh, I'm just showing you guys some of the methods that I do. And uh, it works great for me, and I'm quite sure it'll work great for you if you do it the same way I do it. Um, there's eggs everywhere. Uh, I just got to get out here and, uh, build some more cages because, uh, I don't have the space for all the breeding that I want to get done this year because I, I got a, a couple of orders that I got to fill and, uh, hopefully I, I get what they, what they're looking for. And Hey guys, like I say. If you want to purchase some of these birds, 
you'll be perching some very healthy birds. The heck is going on over here? I don't know what's going on over here, but now they want to all crow. It's getting late. They're getting ready to go to bed. But I wanted to do that quick video on my medicine cabinet. Uh, take notes of it, guys. And I'm going to repeat it for you real quick. One more time. D1. Make sure they get that worm in their system and get them flushed out of those worms. You can, I, I always make sure it stays in there at least two days. After that, that next day, after that third day, I give them fresh water. After that, that fourth day, we hit them with that. That's what, this stuff really works, man. Uh, this stuff has come from the Philippines, but I get it from a guy out of Florida. Then after that, I give them some uh, uh, the antibiotics. Wait another couple of days of water, getting the... Uh, uh, stuff through their system two days then i give them this that you got to put the you, you got to put the vitamins and, and electrolytes and minerals back in their body guys when you flush them out with that antibiotics so i give them this and plus i feed them uh alfalfa uh chopped alfalfa that helps with the protein plus it's a high fiber for your chickens now tomorrow they've been they had this they'll get fresh water for the next two days and then we'll put that vet rx vet rx it'll stay in there uh even when you dump the water out that vet rx it will still be in there that stuff helps with their breathing but guys this is the mess that i use and uh I'm going to take my time so you can see the name of it. That's the worm I use. Antibiotics. You can get this at Tractor Supply. You also can get this at Tractor Supply. But this other stuff, I had to order it. It's not cheap, guys, but I'm not cheap with these birds. These birds are... This is one of my best hobbies I got. And I got a lot of hobbies, but... This is one of the best hobbies I love dearly. And building things is my, one of my hobbies, but these chickens is my best hobby that I love dearly. And as you can see, I'm, I got healthy sun and birds. They're, they're doing great. And I got a bunch of those little young guys over there trying to breed. I'm gonna have to separate them real soon. I haven't done it yet. Um, but I gotta do it because one of them eventually ain't gonna make it if I don't separate them. And they're ready to breed as young, young, they're young studs, young little stags. These guys are, it's it just, you, you, your birds will be the same if you keep them healthy, keep them fed. You, you can't be cheap with these birds guys you you gotta if you if you want to help if you if, if you want something to work out great for you health is number one i don't play with these birds i i, I take care of them real good and yeah, you guys see the results look how good and healthy these chickens are we got real healthy birds but guys Y'all see the medicine I got? You seen what I use? I showed you the, I done told you the method of how I do it. And then we just see we got our water jugs here that's prepped and ready. So we can start administering this here. My warmer. My antibiotics. This stuff works like a champ, man. I mean, it works. If you can get your hands on a big container like this, get it. I also, uh, when my chicks, uh, are, uh, and I don't have an incubator, 
I believe, and I ain't gonna say I believe, I, as you can see, I don't have an incubator. All my chickens are done all naturally. I let the hen raise them up. Everything is done natural. That's why I, I feel that you get better birds if you let the hen hatch. I'm a backyard breeder and I will stay a backyard breeder because when you start mass production, all because of that name on that chicken, it, it, it weakens it if you ask me. Uh, I could be wrong, but I get better chickens by letting them hatch. Um, I don't, I don't, it, I don't think I would ever get into the mass production. I'll probably stay small like I am because I know you'll be getting real good quality birds. And if I see a bird that wouldn't fit for me, it will be discarded. I will not sell it. It will, but it won't go to waste. Uh, I know some people that, uh, hell, they'll eat these birds. And uh, I'll raise it up, and I'll let them get them. But uh, I'm going to show you guys how I do it, how, how I maintain my health. I was asking my son to show them how I get my birds healthy and how I keep them healthy. So if you're looking at this video, my friend, you just seen how I keep my birds healthy. Well, guys, it's getting dark. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. And uh, get ready for the breeding season, fellas. If you want some of our birds, we will ship to you. Now, I'm going to tell you now, this shipping thing that they got going on at the Postal Service is very expensive, guys. Um, they don't want us to breed these birds, but I don't see why. You save the ball eagle and you can't save American history of the game cock, then something is wrong with you. Because these game cocks have done a lot for the United States that a lot of people don't know. <laughs> but, uh, it's getting cold and it's getting dark, fellas. But like I always say, thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed day.